This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Wilson versus Wright. You two have been together for six years, are engaged, you have three children together, but you are not going to the altar if your fiancé is cheating. Would you share with the court why you are here? I want to prove if Robert is cheating. Okay. He's done it in the past, and he's doing it now. His behavior has not changed not once. He can leave for 12 to 14 hours and not come back till the next morning at 9 o'clock in the morning. So you believe that he's going out, staying out all day and all night cheating? Yes. You about to come over that podium and tell me about it. <laughs> Woo, okay. <laughs> all right, Mr. Wright, she ready to jump all over this. What do you have to say? All the allegations that she accused me of is not true. I'm letting you know I have, I have business to conduct, so I, I, that's all. So you got a barbecue pit, you make ribs? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. And you but, didn't bring a rib up okay. in here. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I got a lot of ribs. <laughs> nah. but so, I, and that's what people call you about. I'm the rib man. That's what they call me for. <laughs> and that's why you out all times of the day and night, because you're trying to make this business go. I got, I got to get this. I got to plan, preparate, and get this, and execute this. Make sure everything, by every, every customer and clientele is being treated fairly and get that certain amount of ribs. Person. The problem is, Miss <laughs> Wilson thinks you serving up more than ribs. That's I'm his manager. Yes. That... You're the manager? I'm his manager. So you know what he's doing. Exactly. You're trying to support what he's doing. Exactly. So yeah. the problem you have it in so how they call your phone business. when they call in my phone. When they supposed to call my phone, because I'm your manager. Oh. As... So why are they calling him instead of calling you to get the deal done? Can, 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 I, can I stop you right now, please, Your Honor? Well, they, when you say it like can that, I, can, yes. I slow, can I slow it down, please? <laughs> they called me because she be having an attitude with some of my clientele because some of them be women, you know? And they she's a little she, tight about it. And she have an attitude with them sometimes. She think they, you know what I mean, might be interested in me or whatever, whatever and whatnot, you know? But I don't even think that's the scenario, you know? Well, okay, Miss Wilson, do you get a little tight with the ladies that are calling for ribs? I might. I you might, might, yeah. Sometimes. Well, the I can admit that. I, I might sometimes. Sometimes I might get, but I, I know, though. I'm not boo-boo the fool. I know when a female is trying to talk to my fiance. <laughs> See, there yeah. it is. And, and the reason you get tight about it is because he has cheated in the past. Yes. Okay, what happened? A woman sent the video to my phone oh. on top of Robert. And she sent it to your phone? Yes, so I called her and I asked her, maybe you have the wrong number? Do you have the wrong number or something? She said, no, I've been having sex with your fiance. Ooh. Now, wait, wait, wait. This video she sent, could you clearly see Mr. Wright? And that wasn't you on top of it. It wasn't me on top of him, and he told me it wasn't him either. <laughs> All right, Mr. Wright. He went, with, ahead, he, went with, he went with the classic. What's the this classic? This is a classic. It's an oldie, it's but a... sometimes a goodie. All right, what's that, love? What me. <laughs> but I see you. What me. But I'm looking at your face. That's not me. I know what you look like. That's <laughs> you. No, that's not me. <laughs> Would you look at this? Isn't that you? No, that's not me. <laughs> okay, this... Hairline, hairline was different. Mr. Wright, Mr. Wright, how are you going to have a video of you with this woman on top of you? Does it tell you the truth? Mm. Please. Please uh, tell the truth. <laughs> give, me, give me one second. Give me one second. I'm gonna tell you the truth. The truth <laughs> is, I really wasn't interested in her like that. It was just more beneficial. She know I like nice things in life, you know? I like to look good, smell good, eat good, you know? So she took care of that, you know? So you she took actually... care of her and she took care of you. And so because of this cheating in the past and what's happened, tell me about why you think he's cheating now. What are the warning signs? For example, Robert... He started an argument because it wasn't any ice in the freezer. Okay, so I'm like, you couldn't put it in there yourself. You couldn't put the ice in the freezer. You can't do it. Ice and is he not was a like, difficult well, one. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave then. So he left until nine o'clock the next morning. Well, how so, long was he gone? For about twelve to fourteen hours. Oh. All right. So when he comes back. I bet you had smoke coming out your ears. Yeah, I did, but I calmed myself and I was like, you know, where were you? And he said, just like this. I went to, I was in Phoenix, Arizona with my homeboy. And where do you live? Fresno, California. You submitted a map to the court. Yes. 
Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> we calculated how far it is from point A, home, to point B, downtown Phoenix, and that is 592 miles, eight hours and 34 minutes, one way. Yes. So for him to get back home, he would have needed another eight hours and 34 minutes. And that's just if he went, stopped, nodded his head twice, got back and drove back straight. Right. Yes. Yeah. That would still take him 17 hours. So you clearly figured out he was not in Phoenix. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Where he were you? not in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, tell you the truth. No, please, please tell the truth. Yeah. <laughs> you want the truth? The whole we truth. Want the, nothing and but, nothing the, but the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I saw, so I went to Arizona meet a friend and, came, and I actually came right back. That was the truth. I did go to Arizona. It was I'm... a physical impossibility. Mr. Wright, drove all the way this to is a half-baked trip. trip. You are not telling us the whole story. So what did you do on this trip? And who, moreover, who did you do on this trip? I didn't do anyone on the trip. What I, <laughs> what I did do is I went on the trip, I took the tools, I came back, you know. Actually, it didn't take that long because I didn't go all the way. Went halfway, came back, and then I went to my cousin's house to play the game, video games. This is a half-baked story, like a half-cooked rib. <laughs> this story doesn't make sense. Go ahead, at all. help. This is your time to clear the decks. If you yeah. gonna make it right, yeah. Mr. Wright, yes, you need to speak the truth yes. and the whole truth. Yes. So who did you see beside the person, this man? Who, and, what woman did you see? And your cousin. Who else cousin? did you see? I was thinking about story. I was saying right. what happened. That, that was it. Miss Wilson, have you found anything that makes you think he's cheating currently? Yes. Tell me about that. I found blue panties in his car. All right, so you found some woman's panties a size small. Yes. Those are the panties right there, and he told me it was from him taking his homegirl washing, and she left that one pair of panties in his car under the seat. Oh, hold on. Under the seat? Under the seat. So, no. and they was filthy. Ew. And so that we're clear, Ms. Wilson, those are not your panties. Those are not mine. And those happen to fall out in the yeah. car. Oh, yeah. uh, and not only did they fall out, they fell out and then rolled under the seat. Cause she left just that one pair. Just that one pair. And you know, underwear known to roll. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Wright. Uh-uh. I have to clarify that. I, uh, she, she's making it seem like I'm a bad guy. No, no. No, you making you seem like you're a bad no, guy. No, no. I'm, I'm gonna clarify that. Okay, go ahead. What happened? My friend called me. She was in stress. Like, she needed a ride, like, real bad. And her, her ride didn't come for her. So I, I went over there and gave her a ride. And she was washing her clothes. But, so, but she couldn't have her. She didn't have enough money for all her clothes to get washed. So she had some dirty clothes still. And they were just all overflowing in the bag, you know? I dropped her off. She might have fell. The panties might have dropped and fell under there or something. I don't know. So she dropped just one pair. Of I pants. guess those was on the top one of the, pair. Of the bag. One pair. That was on top of the bag, so they fell off. Oh. I you don't do believe a word he's saying, do you, Miss Wilson? I, ain't I do really anything. don't. Have you found anything else to make you think Mr. Wright is cheating? Yeah, empty condom wrapper in his car. Your car is a hot bed. Yeah. Because that's what he stay in his car is his dog house. So tell me about what you found and how you found it. I found the empty condom wrapper in the car. Me and Robert, we were getting ready to leave. And I was looking for my phone because I dropped my phone in between a seat. And I'm digging on the side. I'm like, I can't get it. I can't get it. So I pull it up. I'm thinking it's my phone. It's an empty condom wrapper. <laughs> I can't use the condoms. I'm, a la I'm allergic to latex. So they not for you. They not for me. Okay. He told me he let uh, his homeboy have sex in his car. Oh. What? It, it's like a car B and B. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Bo boys in business. <laughs> <laughs> Are bad boys in business? Yeah. What does this conversation look like when? Uh, <laughs> Want me to tell you exactly how I look? Yeah. Want me to tell you exactly how I look. I'm here. I mean, I'm, I'm me. He him. He's standing right here. Hey, bro. Um, we got to be chill and stuff, you know. We got to be have a couple of drinks, you know. I want to go pick up my friend. Is it cool if I use your car? Cause my car actually is in the shop. So that's that's how to I look. pick up your friend or hook yeah, up we, with a friend. Yeah, he was he was going to hook up with his friend. <laughs> we're we're family. We're like family, you know. He makes sure you clean up after yourself, you know. But obviously, mm -hmm. he clean up all the way after yourself. And she came and found the she came and found the condom and thought it was me, you know. Not cool to put it on me. It's this guy's. You know what I'm saying? It's her side. It's uh -huh. his side, and it's the friend's side. Yeah. The friend is here. We're gonna get some uh, testimony. Here, 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 here,
Well, I hope they took the lie detector test because him and his friend is best friends. They do stuff together. Nah. Mm-hmm. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. How are you, sir? Hi, how you doing? Thank you for being here today, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, would you state your name, please, for the court? Andrew Morgan. And what is your relationship to Mr. Wright? That's my, uh, my cousin. Best friend. <laughs> Mr. Morgan, you've heard the allegations that have been made against Mr. Wright uh, about his cheating. What do you know about that? Uh, Robert's not a cheater. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, everybody oh, here right. would expect you as Lord his best Jesus. friend to say that. <laughs> It's but true. we've heard some specific allegations that Ms. Wilson has made. For example, that she found an empty condom wrapper in his car. Yeah, that, yeah. It ended up in there because I did have sex in the car, but I didn't use this car just to have sex in. I used this car to go to the store, and when a female that I was dealing with at the time, she called me up, and she came, she got in the car, and we were talking, and one thing led to another, and we was in the back seat, and, you know... There it is. And that's what happened. I knocked, you know, knocked it out the park. You knocked it out the park. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what's causing me some concern, because Mr. Wright said that you and he were talking, and you said, yeah, I'm going to go pick up a girl. You just testified that you were out going to the store, yeah. and a female hit you up. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. So which one of you is telling the truth? We both telling the truth. We no. <laughs> yeah. Whose condom wrapper was it that... Ms. Wilson found in Mr. Wright's car. It was mine. I left it. So this is a family thing. No, it's not. It's, it's a real thing. That's why I left. I left the condom wrapper inside the. So he telling car. the truth, and you telling the truth. Both stories truth. can't be. Well, <laughs> Mr. Cutler, <laughs> I I think we have enough testimony. It smells <laughs> like bad ribs cooking. So oh, no rather continue. <laughs> <laughs> a yeah. really old sausage. Something oh. is going to arrive. My ribs is good. So, what we have, Mr. Cutler, is a pair of mystery women's underwear found in Mr. Wright's car under the seat. We have a empty condom wrapper. And then we have that he disappeared and was going to Arizona and back. And all of it looks suspicious. Every bit of it. Every single bit of it. And Miss Wilson has said... If he's cheating, she's done. And the relationship is over. The relationship is over. This court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to hear from former military interrogator and expert Lena Sisko to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> get ready, wipe the sweat, get ready. Because I want my wedding ring back. How are you, Ms. Cisco? I am well, Your Honor. How are you? I'm great. Tell us what you did to investigate this case. I first had the accused write a witness statement, and I analyzed that statement for any indicators of both truthfulness and deception, and then I interrogated Mr. Wright to see if he has been cheating. What were your initial findings? During our interview, he was very open. He answered all of my questions, and he admitted that he lied to his fiance about the blue panties because he was covering up for his cousin. He also admitted that the condom that was found in his car was not his. And I do not believe that he traveled to Arizona to meet a female to have sexual relations. All right. I told you I was right about Arizona. Did you learn anything else during your interview? Yes, I did, Your Honor. I learned a lot more. Mr. Wright did tell me that he cannot see himself with anyone else other than his fiance. However, he also told me that he is still cheating on her. And the reason why he hasn't told her is to spare her feelings because he does not want to hurt her. I don't tell nobody. With one <laughs> woman or more than one woman? Would. Multiple women. Multiple women. Yes, if I can come across this podium on you, I would. So, just to be clear... Yes, sir. He admitted to you that he has had sex with multiple women since he's been with his fiance. Yes, Your Honor. And, and still... he's still doing so. Yes, Your Honor. I gave him my everything. I really love this man. To death, I will do anything for him. This ain't right. 
This ain't right. I can see if it was back then or we, you done cheated on me before, okay. But that right there, that was the icing on the cake. But the fact that it's still currently going on, that's too much for you to bear? It's too much. I don't even want to, I don't even want to deal with them no more. I'm done. You all have been together for several years. You're building your relationship, but allegations of cheating are interfering with your building this relationship and have caused problems with what you're trying to build. Is that right, Ms. Batts? Yes, Your Honor. All right, you opened this case today. Tell us why you're here. Jeffrey is a cheater. My lease is about to be up in 10 days, and I want to see when I move, am I taking him with me? Oh, okay. that's it. He's a cheater. He cheated with my friends, with anybody that come around. He cheated with our not, roommate. I did not cheat. I did not <laughs> cheat. I, Yana, I did not cheat with the roommate. That is a lie. But what, what do you want to show her? You're here today. She has made these allegations. I, I want to show her that I didn't have sex with our roommate, with, with her roommate, which is her friend. That's not true. Why do you specifically believe that Mr. Wah is cheating? I sent Mr. Wah to the store one day. He was gone for hours. So I was like, oh my God, maybe something happened to my guy. Uh, know how that go. I called his friend, and that's when I found out we was living in the same complex as his ex-girlfriend. And that's probably where he was going when, he, when I sent him to the store all the time because he'd be gone for hours. No. Did you know your ex was living in the complex? Yes, she was living oh, there hold before on. he Did moved Did you here. know that she was living in the complex? Yes, Sharon, because I figured more or less like one lives here and we live here, they're never going to see each other. Really? 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 But here's the thing. Here's the real issue. It's not so much that you go into the store, but you did not tell her some critical information about this move that she would have wanted to know. And so, if, right. we, if we move somewhere... Yeah. I have to let you know who's in the yes. neighborhood. Is that what you're saying? I, no. You just need to let me know if an ex is in the neighborhood. <laughs> but your ex is, man, I ain't worried about that. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I've given you no reason to worry, right? Yeah, that's it. I've given you no reason to worry. Uh, that's it. But you understand how she feels? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Miss... Miss... Ba- my best friend. I knew her since that's I was That's what nine. I was gonna ask you about, Miss Batch. I knew her since I was that. nine. I was hanging out with her. She was like, oh, everybody want a piece of me. So I didn't say nothing. I put my head down, because she was like, oh, I don't know why you putting your head down. Jeffrey want to... Me too. All right, I, okay. So I'm like, what? This guy text. They've been texting for months since we like. They've been together for like a year, I'ma say. And he took two hundred dollars from her. Hold on, Miss okay. Bats. I need to hear like, the reason for these texts. Okay. Her friend seen the way I was treating her. I was treating her good. We was hanging out. We was going places, and we were really? doing things. Okay. Now her friend tried to get in on the back end. Oh. You I let see- her in no. on the back end. No. You no, opened I the did door. Not, I did not. Hold I on, did hold not. on, hold on. I did not. Her friend offered me money. I took the money on a promise that I was going to do something with the friend, but I didn't. At the was, wait, okay, so what were you going to do with this friend? Have sex. What did you promise? After, to have sex, because after he took the money and I found out they was having sex, I, no. I, I found out they was texting. And I was like, don't do that. Like, that's real I, messed up. Like, this my friend. Like, you wildin'. He was like, oh, I'm a, I was only playing with her. All right, if you was only playing with her and I told you to stop playing with her, why y'all still playing? No, no, yeah, uh, listen. So, Ms. Batts, only, only, hold, only, on, hold on, hold on. Ms. Batts, why you, y'all actually still playing? Su- you actually submitted to the court your recollection of text that you received yes. from this woman, right? Yes, oh. Okay. The other woman wrote, you shut up. That's why your man is in my bed now. Yes. And you responded, girl, bye. Yes. And she responds, I can give him something you never can, a baby. Oh. She only saying that because I had had cervical cancer and I had a hysterectomy so I can't have babies no more. And he helped me with that, too. Like, that is mad crazy stuff. That's that's kind of pretty deep. I have have a lot of rebuttals for this. Okay. Wait a minute. I, have a, I, have a I need I need to hear. Wh- first of all, why you are texting back and forth with this woman for months? And you, for months. Months. And you got Miss Bats. That's number one. Then number two, who takes money and think they ain't gonna have to pay for it? Okay. okay. Her friend, Thank her... you. So let's go. Why are you texting for months with this woman? They're a couple. Hold up, Miss Bats. Not, Let him I was not texting for months. It was maybe like a month. He lied. Okay, he like, the only time, the only time I see the woman is it, the only time I see the woman is if I'm with Tamika. A lot, and we be at her house. How she give you money and you with her all the time? 
Okay. The money situation. The money situation. Miss Bass. Miss Bass, we, we want to hear from him, okay? Go ahead. Okay, how I got the money from my friend. Tamika called me and said she had some money for me. I rushed over there to get the money. Once I At was, my friend's house. Once I was leaving, her friend was like, text me. I was like, for what? So when I left, I texted her, and she said, how much money Tamika gave you? I said, she gave me this much. She said, well, I'll give you some. Come back. So I was like, wow. So I got, I went back. I got the money. Ask him what he did with the money. I got the money on a promise. Okay, you give me the money, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna take care of you. Let me take care of my business first. I took the money, I ran. I didn't tell her, and... And what were you gonna take care of? (laughs) So you had two chances to say no. When she said, text me, you could have not texted her but you went on and texted one. her. Two weeks. Hold then on, when you on, texted her, she said, how much money did she give you? Come back, I'll give you, so, I'll give you that much. You went back. So you had two chances to say no, and you didn't. So the question is, did you sleep with this woman? No, Your Honor. But you promised to. Uh, yes, yes, Your Honor. I promised to sleep with her, but I didn't sleep with her. You think she gonna let you take her money, you not ask you what? actually fulfill your promise. He did. You think I, that's gonna happen? He did. I got, him, I, I, I got it already. I got he the money. Did. Can't do nothing. Because after he took the money, they still was talking. <laughs> you wouldn't still talk to somebody if you took I their have... money. Now, you also said, Ms. Bats, that there was a friend, and I'm presuming a roommate, rather, yes, my that friend. he's been involved with. Tell me about that. Another friend. I was at, I was at work. Okay. Her, friend is, her friend is always flirting with me when she's at work. Everybody. Her friend is always with flirting with me. You're that f- cute. Okay. That's right. Look how right. I look. Look how I look. Okay. All right. Come on. So Tell me I'm what at happened. Work. It's late. It's dark. I come from work. I live on the second floor. I go walking, but there's no light. So I'm like, oh, nobody's home. Nobody's there. I get inside. It's pitch dark now. The whole apartment, everybody lights is off. My door don't usually be closed, but this day it was closed. So I pushed it open and it was kind of dark. So I went walking around, but I saw like clothes on the floor. You know, like people just take their clothes off. And, right. Mm. Flip the light on. It looked like she just pure, it looked like whoever it was, my, my roommate Lee, she pulled her pants down, her like boy shorts. You know mm-hmm. how you just step out the boy shorts? They yeah. right at the edge of the bed where she just pulled her shorts on and just climbed in the bed. I hung them over the door in the bathroom. My Never room is right by the bathroom. I'm gonna hear or see somebody say, oh, there go my shorts. Right. Oh, here she, where they was. I was looking for these. Maybe they was in the laundry. We don't do our laundry together. So, so that's how you knew it was your roommate. Yes. Underwear. And this yes. was a person that's been your friend since you were kids. Yes. She came, she she came and stayed for a visit. She came and it for became... a visit. Two women wow. living together. Two, two women living together. One woman at work, the other woman walking around like a predator. Tight shorts on. Oh. I'm not paying no attention. You get up and leave. That's, uh, but I, I, I'm not paying no attention to the woman. You would have so you would get I never up and even leave. flirted with the woman at all. So I don't even know how the woman got in her mind that I liked her or anything like that. I don't know nothing about no boy shorts or nothing like that. Was she flirting with you? Of course she's flirting, walking around with your tight shorts on when my girl's not there. Okay, so and you're at home. me to go to the store for you and stuff like that when she's so not there. So your girlfriend's not there. Why he don't tell Hold, hold on, Ms. Ms. Batts, hold on. Because I could check Ms. 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 when your girlfriend come back. Ms. Batts, please. So you're there with this woman. She's walking around, boy shorts on, trying to get your attention. You know she's trying to get your attention, and you don't act on it. No. Her friend is all about drama. Lee's we was all arguing about drama. every day after that. He come, oh. she come knocking on my door. Sling, stop texting me, please. <laughs> what? So, so what happened? Is she still your roommate? No, I just see her in four months. We had a, like a, like a, it, it almost got into a hand altercation. That's how physical it was. It was like outrageous arguing. And he so, saying he didn't mess with her, so she going this hard for nothing. So you got into a fight, you kicked her out, you yes. haven't seen her in four months. Yes. All right, so there's your side, there's his side, and there's a roommate side, or ex-roommate side. She is here today. <laughs> Rob is cornering. That's the ex-roommate. That's your girlfriend. That's why she came here. That's how she know we were here. You still be speaking to her. That's your girlfriend, because how she here. I didn't speak to her in four months. How she know we was coming here? You still was talking to her. Mm. All right, Miss Bats. Right. I know it's gonna be difficult. You, you sit in your hands. You, you're itching. I understand that. But we want to get the answers that you came here to get. Okay? 
Good day, ma'am. How are you? How are you doing? All right. Would you state your name, please, My for the My name court? is Lee Herrera. And you go by Lee? Lee, yes. Okay. What is your relationship to Ms. Tamika Bat? Um, me and Tamika were friends for a very long time, for more than over 10 years. And due to the circumstance that we got into this argument over some oh, shorts... Oh, well, yeah, sorry, wait, wait. language in court, Sorry, please. that was um, found in her room. It's, it's... I feel, like I said, it's... He's insecure, very insecure person. I feel that maybe she has been... He has put her probably through a lot of stuff, and that's where the altercation the argument came from. But then I, the way I feel about her just putting me out her house with the way everything happened was like... I was not living there for free. I was paying your rent, and you, instead of you coming to talk to me and really figuring out how the shorts got into your room or how it happened, you just, she kicked me out, like... Lee, was... what rent you was paying? Well, I was paying you rent. I wasn't living there for free. What kind I was of paying rent? you $500 a month. You paid That's one time. One time? One time, when I came to your house, I told you, listen, I got a situation, and I'm gonna come and stay here with you. Now, don't start putting all, all the stuff that I we was not We all got you. situations. All right, you right. Okay. Miss, stay Miss away. Miss, look, all right. What was your relationship with Mr. Wah? They None whatsoever. Couple. We didn't have no relationship. They My was relationship was with her. When I wasn't Ms. around. Miss Herrera, it, Mr. Uh, Wah has testified that you were flirting with him, that you were walking around the house dressed provocatively, boy shorts, tight shirts, and so forth. What is that true that you were walking around in those type of clothing? It was only one that one day I did have boy strength, and due to the fact that I had them shorts on, because I was ready to go to bed. It was already late at night. I was ready to go to bed. I was about to go to uh, bed. I had a tank top and I was ready to go to bed. So you never had sexual contact None with Mr. whatsoever. Wise. You never had sexual intercourse with Mr. Yes, never. They did. No. Yes, they did. Never. She... Never. She told my mother, Never. oh, my God, my mother called me one day. Hey, girl, what's going on? What's up with you and your threesome? That's what? what? That is such a lie. Uh, I have no idea, but I never had I, no type of why? dealings with the woman sitting on sitting next to y'all. Let me tell and you. And that's why. your story. And I'm sticking to you. Ah, that is your story. Ah, he said I'm sticking to it, part. That's your testimony <laughs> today that you have never had any kind of sexual relationship with Miss Herrera. I'm positive of it. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Yes. I think we've heard enough testimony. And we have a relationship <laughs> on the lie. Miss Banta said. My lease is coming up. And the question is, am I going with you or am I going by myself? Mm -hmm. And if you find out his cheating, Miss Bats, you're done. Yes, I and am. And you are going on your own. Yes, I am. All right. <laughs> to get to the bottom of all of this, the court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call certified polygraph examiner Patrick Coffey to determine... Is he cheating? Let's <laughs> talk. I can help him help him. He is. You did a polygraph examination of Mr. Waugh, is that correct? Yes, ma'am, that is correct. All right. Would you please state for the record your credentials? I'm a retired special agent with the U.S. Army Criminal Investigation Command. I did that for 20 years. Upon retirement, I opened a private investigation company and have been doing private investigations and polygraph examinations for the last 20 years. Mr. Wall was asked, since being in a relationship in January 2016 with Ms. Batts, have you had sexual intercourse with the roommate, Miss Lee. What was his response to that question? His response was no. What did the polygraph determine? The polygraph determined he was being truthful. That's only one. Mr. Y, you looking better and better. <laughs> Let us do one more question. We got one more question. Since being in a relationship with Ms. Batts in January 2016, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than your girlfriend? What was his response? Mr. Wall made an admission and said yes. What? Yes, ma'am. He admitted to having sex with three different women <gasps> on three oh. different occasions. What's going through your mind right now? So much. Talk to him. He needs to know what's rolling through there. You're a cheater. That's Give me one more chance, baby. No. I'll make it up. No. To like, Don't listen to me. You was, it's like three girls. Like, you was, like, messy. Like, you real messy. 
So you're done. You know, Miss Bats, you'll get to the other side of this. But what I would say to you, Miss Bats, is you got go a friend to the other here. Side by myself and when leave, she still wanted to be my friend. I love you, girl. You know you love me. You should have loved that. Mm. Yeah. Go over there and be with your buddy. <laughs> you all are married. You've been together for four years. You have two children together, but there's a serious strain in this marriage because you believe your husband of four years is cheating on you. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. Before we get to the cheating allegations, we want to know, how did you two meet? I met Mr. Reed in February 2014 on social media. So we spoke about like two weeks and we had officially made our relationship a relationship. And but it, you still hadn't seen him at that point? No, I did not, I okay, did not meet him Okay, so it was a long yet. distance thing. Yes. Um, okay. Maybe like two weeks later is when we finally met. So maybe like a month I had finally met him. Wow, but you all were already committed to each yes. other and had never put eyeballs on each other no. in real life. No, we, I mean, we uh, FaceTime and talk and things like that, but face-to-face, -face, no. How long after you met were you all married? That October, uh, Halloween. So, how many months is that? Like seven. I think seven Woo! or eight. Yeah. That was pretty quick. Y yes. Well, yeah. you heard her say they had solidified <laughs> it two weeks in and they hadn't even <laughs> seen each other. Yeah. Two weeks in, I was still going, eh, <laughs> you know. Well. But it paid off. Oh, absolutely. Once but, I was in, I was in. Well, just so you know, when I saw you, I'm like, okay, this has legs. This has legs. This has potential. <laughs> so, Mr. Reed, you're in this long-distance relationship. You finally lay eyes on her. What was it about her that you fell in love with? I mean, like, when she's not, like, when she's not mad or whatever, she, she, she's a good person. <laughs> like, she's real nice and caring and loving and, and like, it kind of, kind of like makes it like it makes me feel more relaxed as a person. Like I don't gotta be so, so like guarded all the time. I don't gotta be so standoffish to everybody when I'm like with her or whatever. When everything is good though, you know. When it... so she and, and I get that because you know Judge Cutler's a lot more pleasant to be around when she's not mad. <laughs> all right. So what went wrong? What went wrong? It was like after we got married, maybe like two months at, into that, I had found out he had cheated. So that just turned everything like upside down. For okay, tell me, tell me what you found out. He likes to go out and la not come home at night. I don't know if it was right away when that time he had left happened, but I had went through his phone and I seen a text message from one of his friends saying something about like, you know, how was it, how was it that night with that joint? You know, and that means a female, you know, so I knew right away what they were talking about. So I had confronted him right away about it, and that's when he had told me what had happened. All right, Mr. Reed, tell me what happened. Who was this woman? How'd you get with her two, two months, months in. into your marriage? Y'all should still be honeymoon. I mean, it was my first time being in like a real honest relationship where I was taking the time to commit myself to somebody, uh, at least one person at a time. It was kind of hard. It was new to me. I didn't have nobody like look to like or go to or like relationships or whatever. I never grew up around people in relationships. I didn't grow up in a house with like that kind of stuff going on. So like it's stuff I was still learning. And, and I get it. I'm, I'm not saying I condone it, but I understand it. I mean, if you don't have that experience and that hasn't been modeled for you, it's like, okay, I'm not sure what to do in this space. All right, Mr. Cutler, you trying to tell me if you try to figure out how to be in a committed relationship, you go and be with somebody else while you try to figure out to be in that committed relationship. <laughs> That's what you want me to try to get no, my arms around. No, what I'm around. saying is there are a lot of people who don't have that model for them. They don't know what it's like to be in that kind of relationship. Sometimes you think, this is too good to be true. Something, this isn't, I need, I need to step back. Mm -hmm. What made you stay in the relationship? Because I'd have been like, It'd have been deuces. I mean, at two months in, I'd have been like, you got yeah. to go. So why did you I stay mean, in? Besides the fact that I love him and, you know, I figured it was just easier for me to let it go on top of it. He didn't have sex with that person. It was oral sex. So I figured it was just easier to let that go than to hold on to that and, like, just destroy everything. So is this the only time he's admitted to stepping outside of your marriage? No. Okay. Now, okay, Mr. Reed, hold on. You, you got... 
what a lot of guys don't get. You got a second chance. But then he cheated again. What happened? What happened? Like she's... What ha- now, hold on. What happened? <laughs> It started on New Year's Eve, and I was thinking this year, you know, I don't want to keep living every year where things are just keep messing up and people making mistakes and things like that. So I asked him, you know, is there anything you need to tell me? And he said, he put his head down and, you know, was like, yes, like, you know, I messed up. I have something to tell you. And he told me what he did, and we just took it from there. What did he do? He had went to a strip club and cheated on me with a stripper. Wow. Okay. And, and this is right before Christmas? Past. Yes. Well, nothing says Christmas like sleeping with a stripper. I gotta... <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so, Mr. Reed, why were you sleeping with a stripper? Sometimes when I'm faced with, like, hard decisions, I don't always make the best decisions. I kind of got, like, a bad habit of making bad situations worse. And she knows this. You and think? That fell under that. <laughs> so you're in this place, and you are now believing he's cheating again. I think he's cheating again because two weeks ago, um, he went out, he, uh, like, 7 in the morning, to, and I was still in sleep bed, and he wakes me up saying, I'm going out with my friend. I'll be back around 1 or 2 o'clock this afternoon. I said, okay, fine, cool. I'm still sleeping, so it didn't matter to me. I wake up. I, we're talking a little bit throughout the day. Then all of a sudden, I don't hear from him anymore. He Drops d- off the he, planet. Yeah, he didn't show up 1 or 2 o'clock. He showed up at 12, 1 in the mor- that morning. So he shows up 12 hours later than he told you. Yeah. And you're sure he didn't say, well, at 7 a.m., I'll see you at 1 a.m.? No. Okay, come on, Mr. Reed, it's help not, me. It's not that simple. It's not as easy as, oh, I'm going out, I'll be back. Like, she started with me a whole half hour before I even got to leave. When I don't pick up my phone, I already knew it was gonna be like when I'm on the phone. I'm already, she said she I, was asleep when you left. She was asleep. Uh, you woke she her up and... me as soon as I left the house. That's because I, I already knew what was gonna happen. Asleep. You do the same thing every time. Well, m- Mr. Reed, let me tell you this. If you leave at 7 in the morning and you don't come back until 1 o'clock in the morning, your wife's gonna have questions. She had a lot of questions. Some, all right, like, like, that situation, all right, I, I can't say I was at work because I wasn't at work that day. But, like, when I stopped answering my phone, it's Were because you with another woman? I That's wasn't. That's the question. I wasn't. And, like... She like, believes that you were sleeping around and if you're going for 18 hours, that you've been spending some of that time with another woman, especially after you've fallen off the planet. <laughs> so, is it your testimony that you did not cheat during that time Not period? at all. Not at all. Do like, you understand why she's suspicious I understand of it? exactly why. Do you understand why these are bad choices? I understand. Are you going to continue to make <laughs> these bad choices? I don't want to. It's not that no, I want it's to. Not, no, 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 no. I didn't ask you, did you want to? I asked you, are you going to? I mean, I'm not going to be cheating. I don't cheat on her, so I'm not going to be doing that. That's not a... That's not a... That's, that's not something I got to worry about. It's the... Because you're not going to be cheating. It's the picking up the phone thing I got to get better at. I got to be more patient <laughs> no, with and that. No, coming home... Well, Coming I tell home. you what, let me just give you this suggestion. You correct me if I'm wrong. You shouldn't, because I'm a judge. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. If you are coming home timely, mm-hmm. and if you are doing the things you are supposed to do, you ain't got to worry about her blowing up her phone. Mm-hmm. You, you I, I, I don't know if that, I don't I know correct, that's I, true. It is true. He's cheated in the past, so she's got these suspicions, I, and he can be doing everything he's supposed to be doing, and she's like, yeah, let me call and check on him. Let me see where he is. And to her, it may not seem like it's happening every hour, every two hours, but to him, he's like, why are you hounding me? Why are you hassling me? And that's probably the feeling that you have. Is like, that, is that, but then it's more on top of that because it's like, it's like... She says, like, she'd be cool with it, but she don't be cool. I, I've been through mad different phases as to, oh like, how I'm gonna hang out with people. I don't even go out that much. I go out once, maybe twice a month. Because she's gonna give you the blues Because we got the it. kids, and I gotta be around the kids. And now, when I do go out, I'm not gonna lie, I'm drinking stuff. Like, I don't be at home drunk. You don't do that at home? I do do it at home, but I don't be stupid drunk at home. <laughs> right. I don't be like, 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 when I'm out, I'm drinking, drinking. When I'm home, I'm, like, just chilling, like... But you're trying to assure her that you're not with any other I'm women not, when I don't you're out. With nobody. I just don't be trying to it, argue. That's it. Right. And other than the two times that she knows about, you're saying you have not cheated on uh-huh. her. All right, what else do you have, Miss Miss Reed? You know, he didn't come home one night, so when he came home, I was like, 
you know what? I'm going to go through your phone today. Give me your phone. So I started going through his phone, and I find, I go through his call log, and I see all these different numbers. So I'm like, they don't look familiar to me. So I start calling them. They're like hotels and tellies from New Jersey that he's calling. It was like between 1 and 3 in the morning, and he didn't come home that night. So it's like, why are you calling up these hotels for it? So you go through his phone log, mm-hmm. and when you go through his phone log, you find these numbers and you call the numbers and they're hotels that are local to your area and you believe that the reason he's calling a hotel or a motel at one or three in the morning is because he's going to stay there with another woman. Yes. Okay. Mr. Reed? I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but I, there's, there's, there's a complete explanation for that. It's so like, you've got a completely got a valid innocent, explanation. valid explanation for why in your phone log there are calls to hotels at one in the morning. Right. I cannot wait. Me either. Right. I cannot wait. Bring the it. Situation. Bring it. We was all out hanging out. Now, one of my friends, he has to use my phone. He's, he's gonna go with a girl to a hotel or whatever. So I let him use my phone. He's calling around. Jersey hotels are cheaper than New York is, so he's, call, he's calling around to Jersey. It probably was between one and three because that's around the time we're leaving the bars or whatever, things starting to shut down. So when I get home, I'm not thinking to delete these numbers because I'm not calling them. I ain't got nothing to hide. She could easily go through my phone. So she sees it. She's like, oh, what's this? Adi, adi, adi. I'm like, all right, that was, that was him. That wasn't me. Like, you see, I'm here right now. And it wasn't you trying to hook up or make contact with these hotels or motels. It was him. Not at all. And, okay, so does this make sense to you? No. Why doesn't it make sense to you? It's just so many questions, you know? Like, what are you doing over there, for one? Why are you entertaining with your boy and his girl, for two? You know, like... Why are you out at 3 in the morning? Exactly. Why aren't you home? <laughs> you know? Yeah, if a brother was home, you, his phone wouldn't be being you. Mm-hmm. Why can't he hang out with his friends? I'm just saying, if you out at 3 in the morning, it's, it's probably not good. <laughs> you know, he's already got two strikes against him. I think you should be working very diligently to be home by a certain hour. He says he doesn't go home. No. He says he doesn't go out that much. He's usually at home. He's doing stuff with the kids. He only gets to go out on, you know, a couple Mr. times Cutler. a month, maybe. So Mr. he's trying Cutler. to maximize the amount of time he's Mr. out. Mr. Cutler, he is at the back. She is the pitcher. <laughs> he has struck out twice. She's trying to save him from striking out the gang. Mm. So, no, he needs to go on back into the, what is it, dugout <laughs> and sit down. That's what needs to happen here. I think we've heard enough testimony. Here's what I think we're looking at. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Reed have been married for four years, and she believes he's hiding things. Right. Uh, she went through his phone, and she found random texts to women and numbers to hotels. You say that your husband admitted to cheating on you twice, but you think that it goes beyond just the two that he's told you about. You say he's disappearing, mm-hmm. he's out late at night, all hours of the night, says he's coming home at one time, doesn't come home till 12 hours later. And all of this has fueled suspicions in your mind that he is still cheating. Definitely. And if you find out he is cheating, this relationship is done. It just can't be, it just can't go on like this anymore. Like, something has to give. Because this marriage is on the line in their relationship, this court has done a complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call certified polygraph examiner and licensed private investigator Kendall Schull to the courtroom to determine, is he cheating? Thanks for being here. Tell us what you did to investigate the cheating allegations against Mr. Reed. Be glad to. I had one of my associates go undercover and pose as a cheater who had been brought to court. My goal was to find out if Mr. Reed has been unfaithful more than the times he has already admitted to. Tell us about your associate's interaction with Mr. Reed. Well, Your Honor, Mr. Reed did make it clear that he's been set in his cheating ways for a long time. And he said change is a challenge. I did bring the tape. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. 
it be hard. It be hard, honestly. Especially when things ain't right in the home. Like, if y'all beefing all crazy, I'm gonna work in private. Except that. They say it takes a, it takes the same amount of time to break a habit that it took to make a habit. It ain't gonna change overnight. Uh, mm. uh, wow. Mm. So he described himself as a work in progress. He still got some issues to deal with. Mm. And there's still questions about whether he has been faithful to Ms. Reed. Yes, Your Honor. So you conducted a polygraph examination of Mr. Reed. Is that correct? I did. Mr. Reed was asked, since being married, have you taken another woman to a hotel for the purpose of having sexual intercourse? What was his response to that question? He said no. What did the polygraph determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. Mr. Reed was also asked, since your New Year's confession, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your wife, Mrs. Reed? What was his response? He said no. What did the polygraph determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor. All right, Miss Reed. You came here to get some answers. She's got a smile on her face a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's it's good news. Oh, okay. I think you're looking at it from the wrong perspective. Ha yeah, she's Maybe. doing the half glass empty thing. Yeah, because here's the thing. You came here to find out if he's still cheating, and our investigation determined that he is not. That's the takeaway from this. And just yeah. like you did the first time you called him and he came clean, I am encouraging you to do the same thing now.